My name is Sergey Shakov and today I want to tell you a little story about cryptocurrency, smart contracts and robots from blockchain developer Angle. Um, I have been working with blockchain technology the last seven years. In uh, 2011 uh, that was Bitcoin mining and some internet-based cryptocurrency projects like cryptocurrency payment provider cryptocurrency exchange and Bitcoin mining pools. But after two years, I was shifting from development process to research. And most important trigger for that was the idea about Bitcoin not only as peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, but as a first planetary financial institution where robots can create their own account or in other words i started believe in bitcoin as the first money for robots and in the same time we start looking other big blockchain projects other cryptocurrency projects because only financial transaction from human to robot not enough we should combine financial and technical details into one transaction to create agreement between humans and machines. So we found article by Nick Zabo about smart contracts. He described in 1997 uh, example of communication between humans and vending machine controlled by uh, smart contract. In the same time, Vitalik Buterin published Ethereum white paper. In this article, he described decentralized blockchain platform with implementation of smart contract. And from end of 2014, our development team uh, focused on Ethereum network contribution. And we start thinking about Ethereum platform as a platform where we can create contracts for robots. In the middle of 2015, Ethereum network was alive. And after four months, we show community first experiment where we create uh, agreement between human and robot to, for drone delivery service. On this video, our developer, Alexander Krupenkin, uh, create agreement, create smart contract with the drone and send transaction with the payment and GPS coordinates. Drone catch information from Ethereum platform and fly to GPS coordinates without payment operator and drone operator too. So, uh, show you. One second. So. After that, we started looking around the world concepts where our ideas about direct economical communications between humans and robots can be adopted. And we found some interesting topics in smart city and industry for concepts. <coughs> for example, first is how we can send order from customer to lights out factory. Second is how we can organize communication between different robots controlled by different corporations. And last one, how we can create sensors networks in smart cities and keep privacy of citizens. So uh, we start working with these topics the last two years and I will show our use cases what we doing now. First is decentralized IoT data marketplace. Last year we focused on carbon credit markets and in this year we will show first carbon credit emission algorithm stored in both public blockchain and uh, algorithm what use, using 
sensor data from smart city to issue new carbon credits. Second one is lights out industrial zone controlled by capital flows. Our engineer Alisha Hassanov working with the Fisher Technic model and uh, control, uh, Siemens controllers based on OPCR standards to create the demonstration stand of Industry 4 with the four lights out factories and two lights out warehouse. And how the system working on our software and Ethereum public blockchain. How these lights out factories reconfigurate their production cycle based on information about capital flow. And next case we start only two months ago it's a trackable supply chain with the chemicals laboratory in itmo university in saint petersburg because the chemical uh, industry is very sensitive to track information about history of production cycle and uh, most important idea in this case is a change Audit, replace auditors to independent third-party sensors network what can be injected in factory. And the last one is distributed sky concept. We try to show how we can create global unmanned traffic management system to allow autopilot delivery from Brussels to Sydney, Sydney with a different independent airspace service providers. So that's what we're doing now. And in the last part of my presentation, I want to explain why we do that, why we passionate about that. First is a seed from Norbert Wiener. We should understood if machine will be work as a slave, humans who will be work on the same job position will be slave too. Second, is what we see now around building cloud-based systems in IT company. They create one, one flow of capital and control directly our lights out factories. So it's create single point of failure. But if we can combine technical details and financial information into one transaction, we don't need to use cloud-based system to control lights out factories. And, and last one is I ask everybody in the world to contribute in idea of economy of robots because I think it's helped us to mitigate side effects of total robotization, what we now see.